FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. The mansion by the Clintons. Bill and Henry. I'm sorry, Bill and Hillary. I'm sorry. Are you stupid? Uh Uh-uh. That's pretty funny. So Hillary Clinton was getting ready to speak at the NAACP convention down in uh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati, the Queen City. And the speaker called her Henry Clinton. All right, that's pretty funny. Congratulations to Chris from St. Louis, the winner of today's uh, Blue Lives Matter giveaway. You have to come down to the station to pick up that uh, gift. We'll give another one away uh, every day this week. How about that? So stand by for that. Um, let me get to our guest right now from the uh, shores of Lake Erie, the one and only Tim Jones, former Speaker of the Missouri House. Tim, how are you? Mark, I'm great. Thanks for having me on today. Greetings from beautiful Cleveland. It's sunny. It's about 82 degrees here. We're living life large. Yeah. Just don't flip any cigarette butts into the river up there. Bad things can happen. We don't want to set anything on fire. <laughs> I, I grew up in southern Ohio, so I have I have full right to all of the Cleveland jokes. So we used to a- call it the mistake absolutely. by the lake and all that stuff. So Absolutely. Mark, I've got a I've got family up here. My my wife's family lives here in Solon, Ohio, which is on the outskirts of uh the town. My brother in law, George, has been very good to us and been a good escort around town and Mark, things are going well. We're uh, it's very upbeat, it's very it's very positive. And I just heard your uh, your promo for the Blue Lives Matter. Let me tell you, the men and women in uniform, I couldn't be more proud of them, Mark. They're, they're up here in full force. And you just want to go up to them and shake every single one of their hands because you know they're putting their lives on the line so we can all have a good, safe, positive convention. They're putting their lives on the line for not a whole lot of money, not knowing if somebody's got them in their sights. And that that's something that isn't said often enough. Absolutely. Hey, Mark, shout out to the Missouri Highway Patrol. They're up here with, I think, every single other state. Uh, <laughs> Jamie Allman ran into them uh, yesterday, and if you go to his Facebook page, he's got a picture with them. So everybody in the Show Me State should be very proud of our uh, men and women of the Missouri Highway Patrol. They're up here uh, helping out the, the rest of Ohio and the country and making sure that uh, we do make America safe again, which was the theme last night, Mark. I know you've been talking about that a lot today. Rudy Giuliani just – I was inside at the time. I was, I was near the convention floor. The place was electric. He blew the roof off of the Quicken Loans Arena last night. It was really incredible. What a great guy. What a great leader. What an incredible American. And he explained why Donald J. Trump is going to be a fine president. Yeah, I would agree. And for people that haven't heard it, let me play a clip real quick. I am sick and tired of the defamation of Donald Trump by the media and by the Clinton campaign. I am sick and tired of it. This is a good man. That's just uh, one clip from his speech last night. I mean, he was he was rocking and rolling that place. I'm not quite so sure he didn't overshadow the the prime speaker last night. You know, Mark, that's a good point. Uh, Melania did a uh, did a fine job, and I know there's you know been a little bit of controversy around her remarks, which I think is 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 just the media. The media, Mark, is going to every single night. This is what they're going to do. Your your listeners need to know this every single night. They're going to look for something, manufactured or real, and they're going to make that the story. And they're going to divert attention from the real story, which is the theme of making America great again. And, and it's, a, it's a great theme because think back to where we were as a country seven and a half years ago. And for all, for all the criticisms we could level at George W. Bush, there was a guy who loved America, cared about America, stood up for America, stood for law and order in America, stood with the, the men and women in blue and the men and women in our fire service on the rubble uh, down, at the, uh, down at the World Trade Center and said, "This we're all in this together. We're great people. We are a great country. We not only help ourselves, we're always there for the rest of the world. Fast forward that now to where we are now. We have a, we have a guy in the White House who, who doesn't know necessarily who he wants to stand with on a day-to-day basis. He's critical of the men and women in blue who put their lives on the line every day. He's critical of America's greatness. And it's, it's shown in the failed foreign policy of Obama and Clinton. It's, it's, it's shown with the failed economic policies. You know, we have more people on welfare. We have the lowest labor participation rate ever in our nation's history. We have stagnant wages. Uh, we've really come a long way in a bad way. 
And Donald Trump is going to, every single night, have a theme. And tonight is going to be um, more jobs. It's going to be, you know, make America work again is going to be the theme tonight. So it's been a great convention, Mark. It's a positive convention, and so far, so good. Yeah, you know, I, I was impressed by a number of the speakers last night. There were some solid uh, conservative African Americans who spoke. Um, I've heard some concerns that they're they're underrepresented in Cleveland, and 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 as speakers in this convention, what would you say about that, Tim? Uh, you know, Mark, I, I I would say that that is the media again, the left wing liberal media, uh, saying absolutely saying something not true. You know what's funny, Mark? There's a, there's a group I can't think of the, I can't think of their name right now, but they've got these stickers all over town, and they're basically. Uh, I, I have, I have, one. I got one of their signs actually, and it's basically "Don't trust the liberal media," you know. <laughs> and the media does not tell you the truth. The, the the mainstream liberal media, not the FM News Talk ninety seven one media, you know, not the Almond Report media, not Drudge Report or the Fox, generally Fox News, but the rest of them, you know. And 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 the low information voter is not going to get the full story unless they look at all the media sources out there. And I've heard many people say, look, if you want an unbiased view of this convention and you don't want to look at Fox or CNN or whatever, go to C-SPAN. Watch C-SPAN. It's the unadulterated view of the convention. And you would see a lot of excitement, a multicultural, diverse group of speakers yesterday. There was this pastor, Mark, that came up. He was right before prime time. He raised the roof as well, almost as much as Giuliani. This guy said this is a black pastor. And he said, you know, but for the police, this nation would be a nation of lawlessness and of anarchists, and none of us would be safe. And so there was a multitude of speakers like that yesterday, Mark, from, uh, from the Hispanic community, from the black community. But you know, Mark, here's the problem. You only got so much time in prime time. Sure. So the media, the lamestream media, is going to avoid that voice, that multicultural voice, that big tent voice that I have definitely seen up here in Cleveland at the RNC. The RNC and, and the, the, the Republican Party in general in this country right now is attracting people of all stripes, of all colors, of all creeds, and of all ethnicities. But the media is not going to show you that. Well, I think it's sad. Uh, I made the mistake when I was switching around last night. I stopped at PBS instead of getting the C-SPAN, and I had to listen to their drivel for about, for about 10 minutes until I realized it was on the wrong channel. So uh, <laughs> uh, that's a problem. Hey, ha- have a great time. I know that um, uh, we want to check in with you again later in the week and just get your thoughts as, as we build up to Thursday night. Mark, happy to do that. And Like I said earlier, the theme tonight is Make America Work Again. And if anybody thinks this economy is roaring along just fine, well, you obviously have been on Mars because it's not. <laughs> and, and, and Donald Trump, if nothing else, is a businessman, and he's got some great ideas about how to put us all back to – you know, Mark, if we could provide jobs and economic prosperity for everyone, we wouldn't be having all these other pr- – it's all related, right? Oh, I agree People completely. Exactly. And so that is something that Obama and Clinton have completely failed upon. And so watch tonight. I think you're going to see some great speakers about how to get the economy back uh, humming again and, and putting America back to work. I've already got it set to record. Tim Jones, thanks for your time. Thanks, Mark. We'll talk to you again soon. Absolutely. Have fun. Have fun up in Cleveland. You, do you know why all the trees in Ohio lean north? Because why? Cleveland sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was one of my favorite jokes as a kid. Because I grew up in Cincinnati. We hated Cleveland. Can I just tell you that? uh uh-uh. I even got a I even got a laugh out of Jason Church on that one. Thank you. <laughs> the mistake by the lake we hated. We hated the Cleveland Browns, their football team.